Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there was a time when Ruto and his Kenya Kwanda government went into a deal uh, with the Saudi Arabia government to get oil on credit in order, in what they had put in their mind, to stabilize the shilling against the dollar. That time, the dollar reserves it was not uh, in good state. And even the shilling was demeaning against the dollar. <laughs> so, they took oil from Saudi Arabia. And after that, I remember when the oil landed in Mombasa, Kashagwa, Malala, and the team, they went there. And they threatened the businessmen that those who are holding to dollar they have refused to release it in the market. They should wait and see. In one, in one month's time, they will regret for holding to their dollar. The shilling is going to gain value and they are going to lose. Those were sentiments from Gashagwa. And Ruto said the same. He has been in a campaign and he said on how he is restoring the shilling. But up to now, the shilling has been demanding. Now we are heading to 160, to make 150 and 160. And that's the trend. It is going. Now in a panda, in a panda, in a panda, ni kama hakuna mpango wote wakupunguza. Ama kurejesha yu shilingi or to gain, to, you know, to, to stabilize the shilling. It's like we are not yet there. And seemingly, the way things are going, in another one year time, Sababu Ruta mechukua power when the dollar against the shilling was 120. Was it 120 or 115? Something there. And in one year time, he mefika 150. Give him another year. Haita ki mefika 200. But then David Ndi is now coming out with a different narrative from that one of William Ruto. And above all, Ndi is warning William Ruto to, to, to refrain from articulating on issues touching on economy because he's not an economist and he end up feeding the public with the wrong information. And this is what he has tweeted. We have restored a flexible, that is, market X-rate. This is to say X-rate is not a policy target. <laughs> so I brought a look at make a paka muda ambayo shilingi itakuwa in again value against the dollar. So it's not a policy target. It will settle where market clears that its demand is equal to supply. The president speculated where he thought that would be. He is not an economist. We advise him to refrain from doing so in the future. I want to say that I am a member of the economy because he's not an economist. That's David D. So it's not a policy issue, according to David D. So, with all this, the question is where is this country heading to? Is there any hope going forward that indeed? The shilling will gain value. As we continue with this discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and uh, you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel, subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. And by the way, the power of a country lies in the value of their currency and eh, the security of the country. So once your value of currency is demeaning, then you know Kenya has been above Uganda and Tanzania, and even East Africa, because even the value of Kenyan shillings, shilling, it was powerful compared to these other ones. As we're speaking now, Ugandan shilling every time is gaining value 
and even Ugandans are not comfortable to do business using Kenyan shilling because the shilling is not stable. Tasa hapo mko hapo kama tuseme superpower ya East Africa iko wapi? Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. <laughs> they were buying oil and credit to subsidize uh, to stabilize the rate, but it failed. These people have reduced this country imekuwa sasa ni guinea pig. <laughs> Unakuja kufanya testing. When you want to do every test you come to Kenya and that's how you What as me you need to do is just to pull their socks. And they can bring down this government in two years time. The way they are failing. Wamefanya Kenya imekuwa a ground of now doing all their tests. Hiyo ni mambo wanafanya. How do you expect a dollar to gain to 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 gain value when the government is in campaign for 2027? The dollar will not go down. Amepanda juu ya magari ile mambo inafanywa sasa hizi ni campaign ya 2027. This government even is not sure if they have finished one year. Na wamefuka mwaka. So, how umerudisha campaign mbona imeshika saa hizi kabisa? Kuna nafasi ya kwenda kwa ofisi kufanya kazi. And Ruto should know that all lies will come to an end. The law of the meaning return will get him back to his sense. Utaenda na hiyo mambo yako ya uongo useme uongo itafika mahali hapa The law of the meaning return Ikishafika hapa inaanza kuteremka inateremka inateremka na hapo you will be back to your senses and you know that you know ek, ek, you know ek, in economy you cannot lie because exchange rate is just going to expose you So numbers will never lie. The exchange rate will expose William Samway Ruto and it is doing it already. Imambo yote ilikuwa ni hot air they were telling us. Sababu unajua wakati Ruto alikuwa anaongea Ruto was reducing this thing to ile mambo ya kusema let there be light and there was light. My friend Economy si mambo ya kusema at let there be light and there was light Here you have to work And I don't know how the shilling will gain value when Kenya has remained an importer We don't export We don't encourage manufacturing Instead we are killing local manufacturers Cartels have taken over everything And now what they need is just to import and make money. Nowadays even they would bring oil in this country edible oil and evade taxes to a tune of 6 billion shillings. <laughs> But again for David indeed to say that exchange rate is not a policy objective is to admit that they have failed in their core task <laughs> because you know in governance the exchange rate affects all aspect of the economy someone will ask how that doesn't do for example if you say that the price of bread is going for 1000 shillings and you don't care because hiyo ni market yuko kwa nje remember it is affecting the people directly <laughs> and after that tell me how are they like kunyamaza hivyo so it is also a policy issue is setting on economy so these people are admitting that they have failed in governance <laughs> siku wakati mkata itafika ni shilingi 1000 na mshahara ya watu mabaki pale mahali ilikuwa and you tell me still have a country to govern 
So today, David indeed is telling the king that you are naked. You are naked. But seemingly, the king is not willing to listen. He is busy on the sunroof of his vehicle. I don't know when he will get back to the office to work. Economy ya kupila campaign saizi ndio hiko. Na inonyesha kwamba exchange rate inaharibika. <laughs> and I can tell you the worst problem we have as a country is that we now have tenderpreneurs in office. Those are, are now in charge of governance. And because these are tenderpreneurs they are only caring about their business, what they want to make, how big their pocket will be, how heavy is their pocket. They will not think about you. That's why I'm saying that Azmio need to pull up their socks and bring down this government. To bring it down, it just need Azmio to strategize and they will do it. In a short time, this government will be nowhere.